Hey guys, this is Taylor from the Bushnell Trail Camera team. Uh, I'm here to answer a couple questions to help you get more familiar with your Bushnell Trail Camera. What is an SD card and which SD cards are compatible with my Bushnell Trail Camera? SD stands for Secure Digital and is really talking about the container that holds the files, the images, the videos captured by your Bushnell Trail Camera. We recommend a SanDisk Extreme Pro SD card with SDHC and Class 10 speeds. The Cellucor 20 series can take cards up to 32 gigabytes, and the Live series can take up to 256 gigabytes. The one exception to this rule is the Core S and Core DS 4K cameras. They hold capacities up to 512 gigabytes, while the Core and Core DS Prime L20 Low Glow can also take 32 gigabytes. What is a SIM card and what is the IMEI number? But the SIM card is used by your device to communicate with the cellular network. It's found inside of the access hatch, but generally won't need to be accessed. The IMEI number can be thought of as the serial number or the device identifier for your trail camera. It's used in the Bushnell system to manage your device. It's also found inside of the access hatch with this QR code. You'll use it when adding the device to your account or by searching for devices in your device list. How do I reset my trail camera? Your camera is not equipped with the reset button. So to perform the reset, what you'll do is open the access hatch, turn off your camera, eject the power pack, and leave power disconnected for about 30 seconds, letting the power completely drain from all the circuitry. After 30 seconds, return this power pack and power on your camera, and you're good to go. What type of battery should I use with my Bushnell trail camera? Bushnell generally recommends that you use a lithium-based battery as opposed to alkaline for your trail camera. Lithium batteries typically perform better in extreme conditions like cold weather and hold their charge a little bit better. To get to your battery pack, open up the access hatch, press the eject button, and pull out the sleeve. Or if your model is more of a clamshell, you open up the clamshell and pull out the battery panel. How do I attach the antenna to my trail camera? Before attaching the antenna, make sure that the connector is clean and free of debris. When attaching, be careful to not cross thread or over tighten the connector. If your antenna has the waterproof boot, make sure that it's seated square and clean all the way around to keep the water out. How do I use a solar panel with my Bushnell trail camera? Your trail camera is capable of using solar power as an alternate source of power to extend the life of that battery pack. Bushnell offers two different options for solar power. There's the solar pack and the solar panel. The solar pack is built with an internal rechargeable battery and an attached solar panel that recharges that battery. This internal battery pack needs to be fully charged before the first use of that pack. To charge the battery, leave the pack in sunlight for five or six hours to fully charge that battery pack. When this pack is charged, your camera will detect this charge and use it as the primary source of power. When this battery pack loses power, your camera will revert back to using the internal battery pack as its source of power. The other option is to use a solar panel. This solar panel does not have an internal battery pack and does not retain charge. But when it's in the sunlight harvesting power, your camera will detect this as a power source and use it as the primary source of power, helping to extend the battery life of that internal pack. When the solar panel leaves sunlight or is no longer generating this power, your camera will, will revert back to the internal battery pack again. Now it's also important to know that neither one of these solar options will recharge the internal battery pack inside the camera. If you still have any questions about how to use your Bushnell trail camera, visit us at bushnell.com or feel free to reach out to our customer support team.